So TGH1 TV, uh, first of all, in your last friendly against Cote d'Ivoire, you spoke about the gold drought you're suffering and you admitted that you need players. You're looking for players who solve that problem. Does this collapse solve your gold drought problems? And what objectives are you setting for yourself for this World Cup qualifiers? Is it a clean sheet throughout on beating maybe 20 goals throughout your... What objectives are you setting for yourself? And finally, um, you sometimes play your players out of position. You mentioned Kampoku as a striker the last time he played as a winger. How will you work on that soon? Well, if I, if I have to answer the immediate one, I don't, I don't put players uh, at the wrong position. I don't. Um, sometimes maybe you might not understand. Somebody like uh, Banye, you will see him as a striker. Banye can play a whole lot of uh, positions. And so I don't play them out of position. Banye can be a midfielder. Uh, number eight, it could be a ten, a second striker, which is doing with hearts of folk, and so it depends on how how you see it. The other question was, uh, of of course, uh, listen. We played Qatar. We scored five goals with the same squad of players. Okay, is the way we play sometimes the, how the opponents are appro approach the game, but we will score goals. Trust me, we will score goals, and we will try to be creative, uh, and that is what we're looking forward to. I hope I've been able to answer the question. Of course, I, I expect nothing else to, but to have, have a good start in terms of uh, playing Ethiopia and, of course, come, uh, South Africa. We want to win both, both matches to have a good start. Yes. Microphone, Seydou. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, I have two quick questions. Uh, first, it's got to do with a call-up. I s just scanned through and saw that there are only four locally based players or players who play in the domestic uh, league in there. If I recall, your last call, in your last call-up, you gave as many as um, eight of them the opportunity. And you also, after the two friendlies, expressed your satisfaction with their output. Um, would you be kind to explain to us why the numbers have been cut to four? Because we know that almost all those players you invited in the last time are still playing the league. Then my second question is, uh, I hope you have seen the seeding system in the Afcon uh, draw. You are likely to meet any of the top, top, top teams that um, I mean played in the last qualifiers. Would you, what's your thoughts on the seeding since you'll be leaving uh, to join your colleagues for the draw on Monday? Thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much. Um, those who are not here, uh, especially uh, you talk of the uh, local players, they are not here because they're not good. But at the at the, this point of time, these are the players I, I want. I want to go with. And of course, uh, with the Afcon, um, I expect nothing. Anything that comes, we should be able to deal with it. And so uh, we'll be ready for any other group that that will, will come will come across. My name is Edward King Ekufu, Atenka TV, Atenka FM. I want to know um, why Ibrahim Salifu, the best player to me in the Ghana Premier League, was omitted for, from the squad. And then two, Razak Abalura. Is it the end of the road for Razak Abalura in, at the Black Stars? Thank you very much. Um... Of course, Sali, Salifu, the Salifu, sorry, Salifu, uh, the Ibrahim Salifu, the midfielder from Heart of Folk, you know, a fantastic player, good player. But like I said earlier on, um, he's not here because he's bad. It's just that at this point of time, these are the players that uh, we want to, I want to go with. And also, Abalora is part of the team. Um, he's not out. Sometimes, you need that break to wake up and, and know that you know there's a big deal going on and it's, it's going to be part of us. It's not, it's not out. No. Yeah, Nanedu, Hot FM, Fox FM. The last time uh, you made a call up to the Blasters, there were players who were called up who didn't honor the invitation. 
is there any plans that this time around all of them will be in Ghana to compete for the two matches? And two, if you look at our squad from 2015 to 2019, core of the players are moving out of Europe. Christian Achu, Samuel Ousu, Wakasu, Efri Akwa, most of them are leaving. Do you have any plans by calling majority of our players from the mainstream Europe or you still feel no matter where you play, the most important thing is giving out your best for the nation. Could you please come again with the last one? Anyway. I was saying from mm. 2015 to 2019, uh -huh. the core of our players who were in our... The core? Who, yes. Are living in Europe. Ifriyakwa, Wakasu, Achu, uh, uh, Samolousu. These are core members of our blaster. They are living in Europe. Do you have any plans in bringing about majority of our players from the mainstream Europe or you feel the best, whether you are playing anywhere, is ready for the blaster? Well, I think, uh, first of all, you, do, you need to be in a team that you'll be regular, actively playing. Um, we, we try as much as we can, you know, at the technical team to look all, all over, to look for the players. Like, for instance, now we have Kelvin uh, Yeboah in the squad. I'm sure his name is new to everybody, and so that's what we do. Once we know this can be of good help to us, we bring him on board and, and then see. So we continue to do that. Um, the other question was um, the first one. Okay, of course. Um, that's why we have a provisional list. I mean, um, Kamal Dean was invited the other day. He, didn't, he was not able to come. I mean, sometimes we also need to understand these guys. And today, he's, he's called up again. Tariq came in. There was a little bit of misunderstanding. But I think we need these boys just like they also need us. And, and sometimes it, it, it is like that. But I believe they will, they will come in, good, in, in, in the right moment. We've had a lot of discussion about our issues, attitude, and all, all that. And we believe they will come uh, at the appropriate time, right time, and, and, and join the squad so we can prepare very well. Mubarak. Uh, Mubarak from Joy News. Uh, CK, what is the situation between the team and then Mohamed Salisu? Is his time running out of the national team? And then secondly, you made it clear that you needed those two friendly matches you played three months ago to put your team in shape. Should Ghanaians be expectant of a very good performance? <laughs> of course, uh, we, we, we had a good uh, test match, matches uh, in the name of uh, Morocco and, of course, Cote d'Ivoire, which was very good for us in terms of uh, work ethics, what one's, one needs to do on the field of play and all that. And that has you know, positioned us very, very, very well. We are aware of the situation. We are aware of the opponent that we are about to play and uh, the two matches. And so we, we, we prepare and I believe that, of course, we want to not just win, but perform uh, very, very, very well. Uh, with Salisu, I think the other day, you need to check, he said when he's ready, when he is ready. I don't know, maybe, <laughs> what is that? He said when he's ready, uh, up to now, I don't know if he's ready or not, you know, so I won't be able, I won't be able to answer, yeah. Okay, we'll pick our last three, and then we are done. Joyce. My name is Joyce from Top FM. Coach, I want to ask, the last call-up, you called Frank Echampo, but this time his name is not there. What happened? Yeah, I called. It's true. Indeed, I called him. He was not able to make it. Um, this time around, he's not part of the squad because of what we have now. You know, Like I said, um, those who are part of the team and are not here, not because they are the bad players or anything, but sometimes we look at what we want to do and how we want to play, and, some, and sometimes we, we look at it and then we pick, pick uh, out of the players. Tomorrow, when we have uh, the next call up, when it is possible that uh, we'll bring him on board. I mean, not, no door is closed to anybody. Yeah. One, one, um, is that Abuzu? Coach, I have just one question. 
Just one. Me assure, sir, um, hearts of folk fans, Ghanaians, all will say, sir, um, the players in Accra of folk took the nation by surprise. At the point they were out of contention, they came in strongly. The players started performing day in, day out. The fans who want to know why most of their players were not called up. I want to uh, base my question on uh, Benjamin Afutu. Are you, are you speaking for the fans or you are asking a question I'm as a journalist? I'm asking for them because they, they, they I'm sorry, want we to don't, know. We don't express opinions, please. All right. I am sorry. So my question is that Benjamin Afutu, Benjamin Afutu, I want to ask if he didn't do enough to be in this squad. Thank you. Okay. Now, listen. All of us here in this room, we all have our personal interest as far as the national team is concerned, right? If I ask you right now, ask the next person sitting to you, he will come out with certain figures, players, name of players, that will be different from, but your interest is for Ghana to win. Is that not so? Okay. I have the same, you understand me, the same interest. I want Ghana to win. And sometimes the final decisions come from me and of course with my technical team. The fact that they are not here, I've seen the photo, the names, they are all part of, you know, we've seen them. But at, the, at, the, at this moment, this is the squad. And don't forget, I said it's a provisional squad. We will reduce, the normal will, will go down to 25. Thank you. Please, last two. Who is that at the back? Um, the gentleman in the all white. Oh, OK. Coach, um, first of all, I would like to applaud you and your bathroom staff for, oh yes, yes, I will applaud them because uh, you are doing a lot behind the scenes which you might not know the impact it's having. Being able to talk to your players, the relationship you have with them before you call them, trying to know how they are doing, even to the extent of trying to talk to their club coaches to make sure their conditions, and it's very important. Okay. You know, the players... I'm surprised it, you know this. How do you know that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know. It makes the players feel, you know, good. And even their club coaches will know that, no, this player is an eye of a nation. So when treating him or her, I have to be cautious the way I go by it. Secondly, it's a question. The last call-ups that you made for the two friendlies, some of the players, or oh, 90% of the players arrive late. I know it's a source of worry for you. You made mention in your first submission that you've spoken to them. Don't you think you have to put in measures? They should be clear-cut measures. If you are to be here on Monday, unless, of course, we have extreme situation whereby when you explain, I mean, everybody will say, if not, that you know that when you arrive at a camp late, this and this and this is going to happen to you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm happy you, you made mention of this. Listen, um, I spoke to the captain. Uh, was it yesterday? Yeah yesterday and measures has been you know taking place the fa has taken over about these issues the players are aware the last time they came here a very intensive meeting and code of conduct and everything you know has been part of it they are aware if you fail to do it it will be your own problem um the captain even reminded me of how we spoken to the players uh, they must show this time it's not the afcon is not it's not a qualifier for afcon it's the world cup we want to get there and therefore it's, it's meant that uh, we all have to behave well, including the technical team and everybody. And so they are aware of the situation, and I'm sure this time around uh, they will come on good time. When you are released, you've, uh, the FA has invited you or given you a ticket when you arrive. You don't go anywhere, but you, you come straight to, to camp, and, and there will be discipline. I'm very, very certain about that. Okay, last question. Wallace. Uh, thank you very much. Coach, my name is uh, Wallace or Kululuman. <laughs> uh, coach, uh, let me go, go back to our local dialogue. <clears throat> you know, we say a couple of players be our, uh, in fact, when it comes to Karata, whether I like it or not, until me Jim Fiume Sam. You know, we say, oh, China, COVID, no, arise a lot. So, should in case, so when to me, Mubarak Wakasu, I, you know, you know, the kind of Zilla or what. In fin, a couple of players are from me. Still, I die and say any more infinity bit my age money to send our castle or bit my own. Of course, um, like I said, um, it's now 30 and it will go down to 20, 25. These are the 
reasons, you know, COVID, injuries, and all that. And once we have this squad, I believe that if anybody, you know, falls, for instance, party situation is not, you no, know, it's, it's not conclusive. So we cannot speak. But before they all get here, we will know and uh, the normal. So thank you for your question, and we are aware of, 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 and to let you know that we are aware of, of the situation. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that, that, that will be it. Okay, maybe last one. Who is that? Ah. With what? Uh, Abraham in Kansas. Self made. <laughs> From Fire TV. Okay. Hey. Um, <laughs> coach. <laughs> coach, me pachom, person bisa se. Um, your last time I bought qualifies and proud to Russia 2018. I'm saying, you're to me and qualify. You're in Shasie. I'm going say, first match in Uganda. I was Tamale. I'm a board draw. I'm going to say, whom, baby, I'm going to say, whom matches, you know, and so, a county I'm boy. Do you think, sir, this time around, you know, the first match, you're about Cape Coast. Do you think with the home grounds, baby, I'm about first match, you know, do you think, sir, it be to me and Boao? Thank you. Um, this, uh, maybe I will, I will let uh, Henry uh, answer this question. But in the last couple of matches we've played, it has always been in, in Cape Coast, and there's a reason for, for that. Maybe uh, uh, Henry Asante will be able to answer that.